what's going on everybody all right this right here is going to be a, another pc tutorial um just something quick let's see we're going to use cheat engine i saw somebody asking how do you use cheat engine to change the team name all right so i've got a team named the warriors here i've got cheat engine here the table that i'm using is k smith's um table that he's been doing using for testing and you guys just got to remember um, after every new patch, I'm going to have to say this for every video where I use Cheat Engine. After every new patch comes out on PC, the addresses within the memory change. The pointers, if you don't know what pointers are, just skip ahead in the video. Don't even worry about it. Um, but if you if you are familiar with the term, the pointers and addresses change after every new patch. So each time there's a patch there will have to be an update to a cheat table now you can do it yourself but you have to do the research to find out how to do it i'm not going to show you guys that here i suck at it um and i know a lot of times people they go and ask the creators of the tables hey can you update this hey can you update this hey can you update this uh that kind of gets annoying i'm pretty sure it gets annoying because it gets annoying seeing it. You guys got to remember, we don't control when 2K puts out patches. Sometimes they put out back-to-back -back patches. And it's not fun going to look for addresses to update this stuff. So just be patient. Wait for the creators to put out what they can. Or you can help the creators by learning some of this stuff. You can go back through some of my old videos. There are other people's videos on YouTube. I try to share other people's videos also. But anyway, I had to get that part out of the way. Um, just don't be that guy that's just going to annoy people and you're not going to help contribute. Because if you just want something, then just wait. It'll, it'll come out. Just wait. Be patient. All right. So anyway, using Case Mrs. table that he's doing for testing. This is the one they released on September 7th. I just click this um, right here. It says NBA 2K21. And then you see these things. You see that stuff becomes um, occupied with real data. Now somebody wanted to know about team names. So I come down here to where it says team data, right? I'm on, my team was originally the Philadelphia 76ers. All right, so I'm gonna click team data, team names, and then right here. So they were originally the 76ers and now they say the Warriors. So if I go ahead and change it to something else, I can change it back to 76ers. So I'm just gonna click OK. If you look in game right here, in that corner, it says 76ers again. All right, so if you wanna know, okay, hey, well, I'm using a different team. I'm not using the Clippers. I'm not using the 76ers. I'm using a different team how can I change my team name? All right, let's go to a different team. Let's go to the Bucks. And let's pull up Cheat Engine again. All right, so right here, this address, let's double click it. And you see how it says it has time. Well, that's supposed to be like multiplication right here, this little star. But you see how it has a zero at the end? Let's change that to a one and press OK. What do you know? It's the Bucks, the very next team. So the zero team was the 76ers, and the one team is the Bucks. Hey, okay, that's pretty cool. So we can just keep going in order, right? So if I go to team nine, click OK, it's the Hornets. All right, so let's go down to the Hornets. Who's after the Hornets? After the Hornets is the Jazz. All right, so all we have to do is just type in 10, right? You just type in 10 and the Jazz will come up? No, not at all. That's not how it works. So this is, it's, um, what is it called? I guess it's, is it hexadecimal? Um, I believe the term I'm looking for is hexadecimal. Um, let me just look up the term. Hold on one second. Yeah. All right. So 
Hexadecimal is a system where it goes by 16 characters. So let me see if I can pull that picture up for you guys. Um, shoot. Okay, here's one. Here's a good picture. Hold on one second. I'll let you guys see. All right, so here's a good picture right here. So it goes from team nine would be equal to nine. But team 10 is actually going to be equal to, well, team. All right, so zero, the team zero is going to be, we're going to go 76ers. Bucks, blah, 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 Hornets down here. And then right here after the Hornets, it's supposed to be the Jazz. So instead of typing the number 10, we type hexadecimal for 10, which it is equivalent to A. And it should show us the Jazz, A. So when we type A, you see that? Jazz, which comes after... And if we go back to nine, it's Hornets. So Hornets, Jazz, and then I'll pull that picture back up. Nine, A, Hornets, Jazz. So once we get to F, after F is the next, um, I guess the next hexadecimal digits will be one, zero. Then you'll be at 10. So let's type in F and see what team comes up. F. All right, it's the Mavericks. And who's after the Mavericks? The Nets. So, um, sorry. So let's go back to Cheat Engine. So after you F, you don't type G. You don't type in G, okay? If you type in G, it doesn't work right. Don't type in G. Do not type in G. After F, you type in one zero, because that's what comes next. It has hexadecimal. It's the Nets. So, Mavericks, Nets. F was Mavericks. One zero is Nets, all right? So that's how that works. Um, if you want to do it, Oh man, close that. If you want to do it an easier way, what you could do is let's set this back to zero for 76ers. What we could do is just go to copy this. Let's go to copy and then right click over it and paste. And then it copied it right here. So now let's just change this one to one. All right, now we've got the bugs. We can paste it again. And this time I'm going to change it to 2. So plus 1058 times 2, the bulls. As you can see, it's just going to keep going in order because we just keep going up by, by 1 in hexadecimal. So the last one we had was times 2. Now we're going to do times 3. And we've got the Cavaliers. So I can change the Cavaliers name to Cavs. And then let's go look in game, see if it changed from Cavaliers to Cavs. Ah, it worked. So that's how you change team name. And then you just make sure you save, you know, save. Um, you either save your roster or save your My League. But that's how that works. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully that helps you. Hopefully you guys are comfortable. Um, it, again, let me start. Let me start by doing this. If we start from the very beginning, because some people don't know how to uh, use cheat tables. So what you do is you open Cheat Engine, and then you click this right here, which is opening a process, and you click on 2K21 to open 2K21 process, and then right here you need to open your cheat table. You find the cheat table. I'll save my changes. I don't care. Um, hold on one second, guys. All right. So anyway, you would open your cheat table here, which 
mine will be this one which I already have open but you would just click open then this stuff would appear you can click this very top one and then click NBA 2k21 after you have the uh, of course you have to have the game running and then you can go through all those steps that I just did all right all right guys that has been it for this one I'm done